Good morning, folks. Short and sweet today as it's observer family time. Two articles and a video recommendation as we start with our star. Had a few more flares and filament eruptions, but they were not aimed at Earth. As of now, we've basically just got the CME we saw yesterday due to arrive late tomorrow or early on the 19th. We'll keep an eye on the filaments and flares in case there's more. Low-level geomagnetic storms only expected from this event, with the coronal hole stream from those dark features not arriving until the 20th or 21st, and by then the geomagnetism from the small CME should be waning away. Couple notes here. First, Warming has been overestimated, you don't say, both up to now and what's coming in the future. They also say that snow loss forecasts may overestimate that risk by 40%. 40. That's a psychotically huge overestimate when it comes to the certainty they say they have in climate science. Up next, every known periodicity to follow solar activity is seen in this one, and their abstract kind of puts it lightly, reinforcing the idea that the sun controls the climate. If you didn't catch our note at the end of yesterday's show or didn't have time later in the day, please go watch Sky Scholar's new video. Dr. Robitaille nailed it, as did the scientist he's featuring. And indeed, this goes for the first image of the black hole they presented to the world and the one they claim to have made in the Milky Way. Neither is real. A reminder that it's now observer family time, meaning either Monday, Tuesday, or maybe both days there will be no morning show. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again in a couple days, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.